Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim. And we're talking about staying away from people that are speaking Lashon Hara, getting up and moving away, putting your fingers in your ears. If you can rebuke, you have to do something to try to get them to stop. All different things that we said. And if you get stuck, as we mentioned yesterday, the different ways that you have to act in that situation so that you're not considered to be part of the Chavre, the group of people that are speaking Lashon Hara. He says, What are we talking about over here when if you get stuck in a group and you just, by the way, happen to hear Lashon Hara? That's only if it was by mistake, so to speak. If when you originally joined the group they were not yet speaking Lashon Hara, and there's no way that you could escape being amongst them, then we say, in that case, you're not going to be held accountable. However, if, when you decide to sit down amongst this group of people, they're already speaking forbidden words, or you could have gotten up and walked away from them and not had to hear anything they said, but you were lazy and you didn't take advantage to get away. So now, says the Chavaz Chaim, now you are violating the prohibition of listening to Lashon Hara. Or, you see a group of people sitting there and you already know their nature from past experiences you had with them. These people, they speak Lashon Hara all the time. All they want to do is sit around and talk badly about their friends. And he nevertheless goes over and he sits down together with them. That is a bad thing. Even though he doesn't help, he doesn't add any words to the conversation, he just sits there. He doesn't even really take pleasure in their company. He doesn't join into the conversation. He is called the Peshaya sinner just like them. Because he violated the words of Chazal. Chazal say, stay away from hearing Lashon Hara inappropriate words. And you actually walk into the lion's den and you put yourself amongst people that you know are speaking Lashon Hara. The Kol Shekin, all the more so. If you went to sit down and you had in mind to hear what they're saying, God so the sin is too great to bear. All of your actions, the transgression that you did, will be inscribed in the books above. That's not a good place to have your your name and your activities recorded. You will be recorded as a man, a, a wicked person, or a bad lashonar, someone who speaks lashonar all the time, okay, even though you didn't say a word. Okay, the Isav appear, the Rabbi Eliezer, B'tzavas, Rabbi Eliezer Agadol, like we find in the last will and testament of Rabbi Eliezer Agadol, should see we live in the Horkinus. He said to his son Horkinus, "Mezel shonay bini, my son, al teishe b'chamuras am ha'imrim ganai mechavayim." Don't sit amongst groups of people that are speaking negative about their friends. Because when the, their words will go up above, their words of Lashon will be recorded in a book, a special book, a ledger, so to speak, that Hashem keeps of our bad words. And our Lashon down here, anyone who is standing with these people while they were talking, they will be inscribed in the book as the group of Resha of evildoers, Umbali Lashon and those that speak Lashon Even though you didn't say a word, but you're there. Okay, therefore, ma'oid, ma'oid. Stay very far away. Mechabura ra'akezoi. When being around such a negative and such a bad group of people that are speaking Lashon says the Chavetz Chaim, yeah, you could be forgiven for being in a group of people that are speaking Lashon if it happened without your knowledge that they're going to start speaking like that. But if you put yourself into the position where you're going to hear the words of Lashon Har being spoken by other people, even if you don't say a word and you don't encourage or anything, you will be held responsible for
for putting yourself in such a situation. Have a wonderful day and an easy, meaningful fast.